Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're in the midst of this, uh, actually part two of a series on, on loving your kids on purpose or loving family on purpose, just being on purpose with how we love. Estamos en, uh, en el medio de la serie, uh, parte dos de influir, uh, did you say influence families? Others. Influir families. a otros. Um, and last time we ended kind of talking about how God's heart is, is a heart of, uh, um, that there's a, he wants to lay the foundation, that's a difference between love and fear. La, and freedom and control. Oh, el domingo pasado terminamos en hablando del corazón de Dios, de la diferencia de libertad y de control. Right, and so whatever we end up as a, in, a, in a culture within our household, cuando estamos en una cultura dentro de nuestro hogar, um, what was instilled to us as children is going to be instilled to, to them as they go forward. Lo que fue puesto dentro de nosotros es lo que también va a estar puesto dentro de nosotros. Nuestros hijos. So it's really important what we sow into our, our, our households. Es bien importante saber lo que estamos sembrando en nuestro hogar. Regardless if our kids are still in our household or not. No importa si ellos todavía siguen viviendo en nuestra casa o no. So it's, 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 if I give my children or my family. Si yo le doy a mis hijos o a mi familia. Freedom and respect and honor in my home. Libertad, respeto y honor en mi casa. They'll kind of download that. As their own culture. Um, ellos van a recibir eso como si fuera su propia cultura. Right, that makes that makes the world seem uh, it, it just pales in comparison. Uh, que hace el mundo ver como si fuera menos. Because most people operate out of fear. Porque la mayoría de la gente opera de temor. And 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 protect self at all costs. Y se protegen ellos mismos a, a cada costo. So as we get into this, we'll see uh, kind of how how uh, how God wants to set things up in our households. Entonces, uh, cuando estamos estudiando esta serie, vamos a ver cómo Dios quiere que nosotros uh, mantengamos nuestra o, nuestro hogar. Uh, and what what God wants to do to with us, Jeremiah thirty one. Y que Dios lo lo que Dios quiere ser con nosotros. So Jeremiah thirty one, thirty one and thirty two. Jeremías treinta y uno. Versículos 31 y 32. It says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Jeremías 31, perdón. Versículo 31 dice... El Señor dice, llegará el día en que haré un nuevo pacto con Israel y con Judá. No será como el que hizo con sus antepasados, cuando los lleva de la mano para sacarlos de Egipto, puesto que ellos lo rompieron a, a pesar de que yo fui como un marido para ellos, dice el Señor. Right, so God's saying, I'm going to give you a new covenant. Dios dice que voy a dar un nuevo pacto. And the new covenant with God. Y el nuevo pacto con Dios. Goes from an external relationship with God. Va, bien, va desde una relación externa con Dios. To an internal relationship with God. Para una relación interna con Dios. Right, remember in the Old Testament, He gave us the Ten Commandments. En el Viejo Testamento, Dios nos dio los diez mandamientos. Right, we were given all the, the, the rules and the laws of the Scripture. Y nos dieron la ley uh, y las reglas de la Escritura. So it was an external environment or control system versus an internal control system. Era un sistema controlado external en vez de un sistema internal. Right, God's like, I don't want religion and Dios, rules. Dios dice, no quiero religión y reglas. To control you from the outside anymore. Para que te controle desde afuera, no quiero eso. I want, I want this internal force to, to, to influence you. Yo quiero una fuerza interna que, que te vaya a... Did you say force you? Or control you? Yo quiero una fuerza influence. interna que te vaya a influir. Um, he's saying, I don't want to control you from the outside. No man, quiero controlarte desde afuera con las, con las reglas. Right, which is what man does. 
¿Qué es lo que el hombre hace? Man creates rules, hombre cree regulations, reglas, and religion. Y religión. And he says, I want to relate with you on the inside to change you from the inside out. Y él dice, yo quiero relacionarme contigo desde adentro para cambiar. When you have fuera. external controls, it says that that I make decisions based on what's going what's going to to uh, what's going to who's going to be mad at me. Cuando when I have external when I have external controls, I make my decisions based on who's going to be mad at me. Cuando yo tengo uh, el control externa, entonces mi decisión um, yo determino con quién yo me voy a enojar. Mis right, decisiones está basado en quién me va a castigar. If I cross this line or do something wrong. Si yo hago algo malo. Right. Well, I didn't do this, so now the church is going to be mad at me. Oh, no hice esto, entonces la iglesia va a estar enojada conmigo. Oh, I, uh, if I speed, I get a ticket. Ah, oh, entonces si yo manejo a la, a la ligera, me van a dar un tiquete. Right. If I'm late for work, my boss is going to be mad at me. Si estoy tarde para un trabajo, entonces mi jefe está, va a estar enojado conmigo. If I don't come home on time, like my, my parents are going to be mad at me. Si no llego a tiempo a mi casa, entonces mis parientes se van a enojar conmigo. Right, and that's how we raise our kids. We raise them out of a fear-based mentality. Y así es como creamos a nuestros hijos de una mentalidad basada en temor. You do good, you get my love. Haces bien y recibes mi amor. You do bad and you get my wrath. Haces mal y vas a sentir el castigo. So we train our kids very young in fear-based external control. Entonces entrenamos a nuestros hijos desde pequeño el control externo. On the opposite, an internal control system. El opuesto del del control internal. You make decisions differently. Uh, hace decisión totalmente diferente. You, you make decisions like how is this going to work out for me. Uh, toma las decisiones en pensar cómo esto va a servir para mí. Right, I have a qual. I have I have decisions to make. Uh, tengo decisiones que tomar. I have choices. Tengo uh, poder escoger. And those choices create my life. Y esas decisiones es lo que cree mi vida. And I'm responsible for that life. Y yo soy responsable por esa vida. What am I going to do with this opportunity to make this choice? ¿Qué voy a hacer con esa oportunidad para tomar esa decisión? Versus external control says, what am I going to do if I get? En vez del control uh, externo, ¿qué es lo que voy a? What am I going to get? Is that visa? What am I going to get? What's my punishment if I if I behave a certain way? El control externo es cuál es mi castigo. So God's all about freedom and choices, right? Dios es de libertad y decisiones. Genesis two nine says this. Genesis two nine dice esto. And out of the ground, the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to sight and good for food. The tree of life was all in the, also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Nueve dice, el Señor Dios hizo que del suelo creciera toda clase de árboles, hermosos de frutos, comestibles y deliciosos. El árbol de la vida se encontraba en medio del jardín y allí también estaba el árbol del conocimiento del bien y del mal. See, freedom's really, really important. Libertad es muy importante para Dios. You can't have love if you don't have freedom. No puedes tener amor si no tienes libertad. And you can't have freedom if you don't have a choice. No, no puedes tener libertad si no tienes uh, una elección. Right, so... So within a, a family culture, Entonces, en una cultura familiar, whether it's with your children or your spouse, bien sea con tus hijos o con tu esposa you o esposa, have to ask yourself, how do I create? Tienes que hacerte la pregunta, cómo voy a crear a free place, <coughs> un lugar uh, libre, where my children or my spouse, donde mis hijos o mi esposa o esposa, can have a choice. <coughs> pueden, pueden tener uh, una elección. If we have no choice, si no tenemos el poder de escoger, there is no freedom. No hay libertad. And when there's no freedom, there is no love. Y donde no hay libertad, no hay amor. I get you to behave like you love me. Te puedo hacer que actúas como me quieres. But without choice, there is no freedom and there is no love. Pero sin poder escoger, no hay libertad y no hay amor. So it's not my job. No es mi trabajo. To teach my my family or my children or my spouse. De enseñar a mi familia, mis hijos o a mi esposa. To let me control them. De dejar que ellos me de dejar que yo los controle a ellos. Right, and that's what we try to do. We, you, this is how you behave, and when you y, behave this way. Y así es como tratamos, así es como hacemos que le decimos, 
Tú haces esto y así es como te vas a compartir. Then you're, you're, you're in my graces. Entonces estás en mi gracia. Right, but if you don't behave this way, then you're in trouble. Si no te comportas así, entonces estás eh, en problemas. Which is fear-based. Que es basado en el temor. Right. My job is to teach and create within my family a culture that... Mi trabajo es de enseñar y crear una cultura dentro de mi familia. My children are in a place where they can learn to control themselves. Que mis hijos estén en un, en un lugar donde ellos se pueden controlar ellos mismos. And manage themselves. Y manejarse ellos mismos. Regardless of what's going on around them. Sin importar lo que está pasando alrededor de ellos. Right, and the kind of the role of the Holy Spirit within our within our lives. El papel del Espíritu Santo en nuestra vida. Is to manage ourselves with all the freedom that God gives has given us. Es manejar uno mismo la libertad que Dios nos ha dado nosotros. Right, so so God's very much into. Um, we all have choices. Todos tenemos elecciones. Can you think of any areas of uh, when you were growing up? Puedes where pensar you were, de algún lugar en tu área cuando estabas creciendo. Where you had no, no, uh, no choice and you just had to fight control. Donde no tenías elecciones y tenías que pelear el control. Like taking the trash out every Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice. It's just you do it or you're in trouble, <laughs> right? That's a bad example. I'm just saying. <laughs> Growing up. They grow up. <laughs> Watch your leg. Oh. Oh. I believe he's dreaming with taking the trash out of the cold. Dreaming? Yes. <laughs> he is dreaming. And he's convinced. <laughs> The boys, Did I do? Did the I boys have said this. Okay. Él está Lady trabajando <laughs> en recordarse sacar la basura cada domingo en la noche. Es el, el trabajo de él. Mis hijos, so my boys, le dijeron, okay, si se te olvida, tienes que tener una consecuencia. If you forget, you have to have a consequence. <laughs> y el pequeño le dice, él dice, ¿Y cuál es la consecuencia? He's like, so what's the consequence? Mike dice, si no lo haces y no pones, no llenas, no pones en una bolsa plástica nueva todas, el carro tuyo, Isaiah lo tiene hasta el miércoles. Oh. Mike said, if you don't take out the trash and you don't put liners in the trash, then your no, car the trash. then goes, the oh no, your car Then go, Micah, come here. Come here, Micah. No, out. Micah, come here. Out. <laughs> What is the consequence if dad does not take out trash and the liner? Is that correct? Uh-huh. What's the consequence? I say I get this car till Wednesday. <laughs> You're grounded. Go. <laughs> Wrong answer. I'll yeah. beat you when we get home. Fear. <laughs> Lo que yo digo en mi casa. Si no hago algo que dije que iba a hacer o hice algo malo. Entonces yo pongo el privilegio ejecutivo. Es que mi casa es un lugar de, de ¿cómo se dice? Dictadores. Executive privilege. I am above the law. Pero lo que él dice en realidad. What's the big deal? ¿Cuál es Why el, the el, big deal el problema? ¿Por qué haces una cosa grande? Just a little respect. <laughs> oh, oh really bad, <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> Que si sientes el dolor de él. He said no. Answer is no. That's not the right answer. Pregúntele amor. Es que eligió mal a quien preguntar. Oh, ya llegarás. 
Yeah, that's loud as You feel me, don't you? <laughs> you'll get, you'll get it. <laughs> she said he wants to kick me out of the room. <laughs> no, yo sé, para el futuro. <laughs> she said he's single. I'm like, I know, that's why. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so fear of punishment is the way we kind of raise our el, raise our kids. El temor de castigo es una manera en cómo creamos a nuestros hijos. But Second Timothy one seven says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Segundo Timoteo, what is it? Second Timothy one seven. Uno dice. Uh, porque el Espíritu que Dios nos ha dado no nos hace coba cobardes, sino que Él es para nosotros fuente de poder, amor y buen juicio. Right, when I have a spirit of power and self -control, Cuando yo tengo temor de poder y, y, y uh, el control de uno mismo, and choose how I react to my environment. yo puedo controlar y escoger cómo reaccionar en mi ambiente Versus letting my environment dictate how I behave. en vez de dejar que el ambiente me diga a mí cómo yo tengo que compartir. Yo tengo que hacerme esta pregunta en mi familia, en mi negocio, con mis hijos. Do I want to set up a culture? ¿Quiero yo hacer una Cultura, where everybody around you makes decisions donde todos alrededor de mí hace, toma decisiones, based on a fear of punishment basado en el temor de castigo, or where they realize on the opposite part of that o donde ellos mismo, uh, realizan, that there's a relational consequence to their poor choices. Que hay una consecuencia que es relacionado por sus uh, es, uh, elecciones. Right, it's completely different Heart condition. Es uh, completamente diferente la condición del corazón. When my kids do something out of fear of punishment. Cuando mis hijos uh, hacen algo por miedo del, del uh, castigo. Versus. En vez de. A, a heart that doesn't want to hurt the relationship. El corazón que no quiere uh, herir la relación. Right. Is that what you mean by relational? Yeah. Eso es lo que refieres a una consecuencia can, relacional. Puedes darnos un ejemplo. So like with, with kids, I don't go in the cookie jar because I don't want to get spanked. Por ejemplo, como hijos, yo no quiero uh, comer una galleta por el miedo de un castigo. Versus, I don't want to go in the cookie jar because it would hurt mom's heart. O al otro lado es no quiero comer una galleta porque va a doler el corazón de mi mamá. So I'm actually managing myself based on. The condition of the relationship. Estoy manejándome a mí mismo basado en la condición de mi corazón. But if they don't have our hearts, pero si ellos no tienen nuestros corazones, they have nothing to do but fear the punishment. No tiene nada que hacer, pero el temor de, de castigo. So if you rule by punishment, entonces si tú manejas o das reglas por el uh, con el castigo, they'll operate out of fear of punishment. Van a operar por el temor del castigo. I have a question. Tengo una pregunta. That, that is beautiful. Eso está bonito. De poder poner ese sentimiento en tus hijos. Y están actuando basado en amor y no en temor. Ahora en español porque se me acabó el inglés. Ok. So, esta mañana todavía me duele mi cabeza. This morning, my head still hurts. Porque... Había actuado yo diferente. No I had acted fear. completely different una, based una on fear. Y todo era más fácil. No, and it was a, a odio, small spanking. Puedo decirlo ahora, pero antes yo no me daba cuenta. Or a look of um, hatred. Like something is going to happen. Like a price. And you're not looking and he immediately responds to me. Y But con una mirada, él inmediatamente me, res, me responde en lo que yo quiero. Well, that's what I learned how to. Así es como yo aprendí. Ya que todo está cambiando en mi mente, no es fácil. Se demora. It's a toma mucha. Tengo que practicar la paciencia. And sometimes I don't know how. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, esta mañana que 
I went to go do something, and when I came back, everything was still the same. He hadn't changed. And I screamed, and then he changed right away. She needs to learn how to control that hang anger, not like if it's a hurricane. And I'll hold him, and that produces my headache. Mm -hmm. So I'm like this in every moment where taking control is difficult. Before I was submitted to that um, environment, and that's how I would act. Even though I see that it's a big uh, change. So this morning after I uh, control myself with that hurricane behavior, I ask God to help me. And a uh, peace just, just came on me. And I got down to his level and I spoke to his eyes and I said, love. I saw that I had transmitted all that and I've taught him all that. In that moment I saw his fear, his anger, his intolerance. And it was a revelation I had in that moment where I felt bad. How could I have put that in him? I sat and said, Love, today I'm going to start to do things different. And I talked to him like he was an adult. I've never talked to him that way before. I know that I've been angry. I've had a lot of anger. Today we're going to start acting in the name of love. I'm going to the church so I can learn how to be a better mom. And the Spirit of the Holy Spirit is now going to live in our hearts. And, and our home just sent completely different. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> and she said it's good that we're here because it's something that we're learning exactly what she's living at. Mm -hmm. She's very thankful. Everything's lining up, like cleansing streams, baptism. And I feel that I'm entering in a new season in my life. Amen. Unless you share something, I'm sorry. That's okay. Quiero compartir. Okay. I I I can tell you, I'm very blessed that I was raised by very good parents. At the age of 14, when you said, "Give me an example," I remember my father sent me to the United States to learn English. Right. So I remember I was 14 and I had friends, and you know they ask you to go out and stuff, and I will say no. I want to stay home because. If something happens to me, it's gonna, you know, an accident or something, it's gonna hurt my parents. They're so far away. So I took care of myself because I didn't want to hurt them. Yep. So that's a good example yeah. of how, mm -hmm. you know, your kids learn to from the heart yeah. how to not hurt parents. But then going back to what she's saying, I remember my mother talking to us to this day. If she's gonna, I mean, I'm. I'm 47. She talks to me in the eyes with pure love. Yeah. If she got, the, she has to tell me something that's bothering or that I might be that she's seeing that I'm doing wrong. She will talk to me and on, on by looking in my eyes. And she always did that since we were little kids. And she will always hug us after that. Entonces lo que hiciste está bien porque um, al hablarle a tus hijos a los ojos y los so abrazas, ellos sienten ese amor y van creciendo con esa paz. Entonces cuando estás grande, a la edad de 14 años, yo estaba fuera de mi casa, entendiste ser papá. At the age of 14, I was out of my house. I was fearful of hurting my parents. I used to take care of myself because I didn't want something happening to me. You're doing good. 
don't feel bad. Because he was grande. And I'm telling um, you from experience. I have three children. One's 24, one's 21, and a six-year-old. And I raised them the same way my mother's raised me. And it's so nice to see them growing up to be good people, good kids. They have given me no trouble, and I'm very blessed. So um, what I'm telling her, what she's doing, is just uh, to my experience. It's what my mother did to us and my and my dad. So, Amen. Yeah, I was going to add to that. Yo That's, iba a venir con eso. What you said is very honest. Lo que dijiste es muy uh, honesto. And that's what this is all about. Y esto es lo que esto se trata. Honest, es de ser honesto. We need to be able to learn from each other. Porque tenemos que poder uh, aprender de uno al otro. You know, iron sharpens iron. Uh, hierro fila hierro. And we need to be able to learn that and be y honest about, you know, the mistakes we have. Because y tenemos que poder ser honesto y aprender de nuestros errores. Yeah, because even Bob and I, with our three older children. Yeah, como Bob y yo con nuestros hijos mayores, tres hijos mayores. They were raised very differently when they were at their mom's house. Fueron creados diferente cuando estaban en la casa de sus mamás. Than when they were in our house. Que cuando estaban en la casa de nosotros. And it was very hard. Y era muy that. difícil hacer eso. And so we had to learn, and there wasn't anywhere really back then to to Teníamos que aprender y en ese tiempo no había donde aprender. And now with Gabby. Y ahora con Gabby. Uh, you know, she was raised by the two of us. Ella fue creada por nosotros dos. And she was raised differently. Y fue criada diferente. She didn't have an outside person, you know, to to raise her differently. Ella no tenía una persona fuera de crearlos diferentes. So you do. I mean, it's a struggle and we're all learning. Eh, sí, es una batalla y todos estamos aprendiendo juntos. Y empieza con ser honesto de que somos, hacemos errores como padres y que vamos a continuar en hacer errores. Yo creo que la cosa más importante es que lo reconocemos y que estamos despierto a eso porque después cambiamos eso mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Que, and I have to admit um, en in some moments I feel like it's a lost battle it's terrible he's got seven he's seven years old I feel like, oh, my poor little son. For this oh. mom that God gave him. It's honest. Oh, yeah. All these teachings I've had at church. It's not going to be through my strength. Mm -hmm. That it's Christ who gives her the strength. Mm -hmm. Gloria a Dios. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. I love it. Yeah. Amen. You can now talk to me like an adult. <laughs> I'll say class isn't over yet. <laughs> First John. Um, 418 says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Primero de Juan 4, 18 dice, el amor no sufre del miedo, pero el contrario, el amor que es maduro echa fuera el miedo, pues el miedo tiene que ver con el castigo. Así que el que sufre del miedo todavía tiene que madurarse en el tema del amor. Right, so it's really easy to kind of figure out where you're at. If you're, es bien fácil if you're de poder saber dónde está uno. Si uno tiene temor del castigo, then it's really not love. entonces no es amor. Right, because fear has to do with punishment. Porque el, el temor tiene que ver con el castigo. Where love drives out fear. Donde el amor saca el temor. Right, and no matter how much fear there is no importa que, que la cantidad del temor, even a little bit of love will drive it out uh, un poquito de amor lo va a sacar. 
Right. You like you think of a, this room was pitch black. Si tú uh, ves que este cuarto sería completamente oscuro. And you you lit one match. Y tú hacia, uh, enciendes. All of the darkness in the world can't make that light go out. Uh, toda la oscuridad en el mundo no puede um, soplar o yeah. Right. So fear always drives out, or love always drives out fear. El amor siempre maneja uh, saca el temor. Right. So it's really it's great within your families because you know okay. So I have a culture of fear. If I sow love, it's going to drive that fear out. Es bueno entre familia, entre familia, porque si tú siembras amor, va a sacar el temor. Right, so if you, you sow God, who says God says, I am love. Si siembras Dios, y Dios dice que soy amor. Into a situation. En una situación. It drives fear away. Va a sacar el temor. Right, so God's goal. Eh, la meta de Dios. Is that we would have a, a culture or an environment. Es que tú que tengamos una cultura o un ambiente of experiencing maturing love. de experimentar amor maduro. Right. So if my goal is love and freedom, Entonces si mi meta es amor y libertad, I need completely different tools. Necesito herramientas completamente diferentes. Completely different reactions. Una reacción completamente diferente. Completely different heart position. Una posición del corazón completamente diferente. Then I do if my fear my if my goal is control. De que si tuviera la meta de, de la, uh, la meta de ser control and intimidation y intimidad different tools for different for different goals herramientas diferentes para metas diferentes right and if I train my kids I have all the power si yo entreno a mis hijos que yo tengo todo el poder and you have no power y tú no tienes poder that I control you que yo te controlo a ti and you are to be controlled y que tú deberías de ser controlado and that violence is power y que la violencia tiene poder I train him in those things entonces yo lo estoy entrenando but en none of those things cosas. are true because we both have power pero na, ninguna de esas cosas es verdad porque los dos tenemos poder right so it's 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 changing that culture when you're when you're honest with yourself es cambiando esa cultura cuando es honestamente con uno mismo uh, Psalms 32.8 Salmos 32.8 says this it says I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will guide you with my eye dice te enseñaré y te mostraré el camino te estaré observando y, te, y seré tu guía Right, so this new covenant that we're in. Entonces este pacto nuevo que estamos. The 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 environment, the culture that God wants to set up within our families. El and ambiente our, y cultura que Dios quiere crear en nuestra our familia. Church, our businesses. Iglesia o negocios. Is all about the power of relationship. Es se trata del poder de relación. And love. Y amor. And it's not about behavior and control. Y no se trata de, de control o de comportamiento. Or obedience. O obediencia. Right. Behavior and obedience happen. Comportamiento y obediencia uh, sucede. But they happen out of a heart connection. Pero suceden a través de la conexión de corazón. Right. When we have a heart connection, then my behavior Cuando and what I do in that relationship Uh, una conexión de corazón is based out of that heart connection. Uh, es basado en esta conexión de corazón. Right, it's not about being controlled. No se trata de ser controlado. It's about being affected and influenced and connected to somebody. Se trata de ser afectado y, y ¿cómo se dice? Influido. Afectivo, Afectivo y influido. Right, he says, I will guide you with my eye. Él dice, te voy a guiar con mi ojo. In that, in that Psalms 32. En ese Salmos 32, 8. And, and you see, if I look into your eyes, dice, si voy a mirar en tus ojos, I see your heart. Yo veo tu corazón. Right, if I see your heart, si veo tu corazón, then I see how my choices and my behavior entonces yo veo como mis elecciones y mi comportamiento is affecting you. Te está afectando a ti. Then I have a decision to make. 
Entonces tengo una decisión que hacer. Do I want to affect the heart? Quiero afectar el corazón. Within that situation. En, dentro de esa situación. So, am I going to adjust my behavior? Entonces voy a, a alinear mi comportamiento. Because I see how it's affecting you. Porque veo cómo te está afectando. This is the test of love. Esta es la prueba de amor. Right, this is about relationship. Esto se trata de relación. It's about a covenant. Es de un pacto. It's not about Oh, I'm in trouble. No se trata de que estoy en problemas y qué es lo que va a pasar ahora. But it's actually looking into the heart of somebody and saying, how am I going to affect this? How is my actions affecting this person? Pero se trata de mirar entre el corazón de una persona y cómo mis acciones va a afectar la relación o esta persona. Psalm 32:9. Salmos 32:9. It says, "Do not be like the horse or like the mule." which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and bridle, else, you, else they will not come near you. No sean como el caballo o como el mulo sin entendimiento, a los que hay que sujerte con rienda y freno, porque si no, no se acercan a ti. Right. When, they, when you get a wild horse, you have to break the horse. Cuando tienes un caballo right. salvaje, tienes que quebrar el caballo. To where they become obedient. Para que sean obedientes. Right. When you ride a horse, you put a bit in its mouth. Cuando montas un caballo, tienes que ponerle, ¿cómo se dice? Morder. ¿Cómo se dice morder? Freno. No. No es freno, es para que... Pero, ¿cómo se dice? Bueno, se le pone algo en la boca, la boca del caballo. Treno. Right. So it says that the, the horse and the mule have no understanding. Dicen que el caballo y el mulo no tienen entendimiento. But we can break them. We can train them. Podemos quebrarlos y entrenarlos. To behave a certain way. Para que se comporten de cierta manera. That's not what we should be doing with our kids. Eso no es lo que deberíamos estar haciendo con nuestros hijos. I need understanding. ¿Cuál es quebrarlos? Ah, uh, ah. Um, ¿Cómo se, uh, es como acabar o terminar el, el uh, ok, ¿qué hace? es como entrenar Entrenado, es como a entrenarlo a manzar se llama manzar o sea, cuando son caballos así que salvajes los, y los avanzan para o sea, entrenarlos para que ya que no sean quitarle su fuerza ¿cómo se dice? avanzar a manzar o sea, lo amansas y le quitas su... Pero esa palabra le no Le muestras se... que eres tú el que manda. O sea, esa palabra se usa también cuando uno dice... Los hijos también. ¿También? ¿También? Bien amansados a los hijos. Ah, o sea, bien los animalitos dominados, pues. Ah, Entonces, para eliminar... Yo tenía como quebrado origen. No, que, pero quebrar el espíritu, ese oh, espíritu, okay. ¿sí quebrantar, me entiende? Quebrantar, que... esa era la palabra. Por eso yo soy famosa en México, los miércoles. <risa> quebriente, quebriente, así se dice. Quebrantar. Quebrantar, esa era la palabra, ok, quebrantar. Gracias por preguntar. So instead of being like a horse where you just control it. En vez de ser un ser como un caballo que es controlado. As we gain understanding. Cuando recibimos entendimiento. We get control ourselves. Nosotros nos podemos controlar a mí. Right. I need to come Nosotros to the point mismos. where I need to manage me regardless of what you do. Yo tengo que llegar a un punto de poner mane poder manejarme a mí mismo sin importar lo que haga right. I need to model for my kids regardless of what you do yo tengo que modelar a mis hijos sin importar lo que tú hagas yo todavía voy a ser I'm still going to be in love yo todavía voy a operar en amor and nobody controls my love with me y nadie controla mi amor pero yo mismo so if I default back into anger entonces si yo regreso otra vez al enojo that's on me eso está en mí mismo I need to control me yo tengo que controlarme a mí mismo right children need to learn to be people. Uh, los hijos tienen que aprender cómo ser personas. Right, they're going to be people their whole life. Van a ser personas toda su vida. Right. Um, there's people and, and as, as they grow, uh, cuando la gente está creciendo, your model, what you pour into them as they're young, tu modelo, lo que tú pones dentro de ellos cuando son jóvenes, is gonna, is gonna come out of them automatically as they grow. va a salir de ellos 
automáticamente cuando están creciendo. Right, so they're, they're gonna be this person for the rest of their lives. Van a ser esta persona para todo el resto de su vida. What I sow into them. Lo que yo siempre entro de ellos. Out of the abundance of the heart. De la abundancia de su corazón. The mouth speaks. La boca habla. I can't expect them. Yo no puedo es, eh, esperar de que ellos. Or hope. O tener la esperanza. If I if I raise them in a culture of fear and intimidation and violence. De que si los creo en una cultura de temor y violencia. That all of a sudden when they get older they're going to change being that person. De que de repente cuando sean grandes van a cambiar a ser They're going to be a persona. product of their environment. Van a ser un producto de su ambiente. They're not that product forever. No son ese producto and they can para change. siempre y pueden cambiar. But my goal is a as a as a child of God and as a parent that wants to sow love. Pero mi meta como a hijo de Dios o como un pariente que quiere sembrar amor. I just want to get really good at loving my kids. Yo quiero ser muy bueno en amar a mis hijos. So when I do that, entonces cuando hago eso, when they when they get older, they do the same thing. Que cuando crezcan ellos hagan lo mismo también. They just keep on loving people. Que sigan queriendo a gente. Right. I don't want my kids to have to be governed by by pain. No quiero que mis hijos sean gobernados por el dolor. I want to be governed by love. Yo quiero que sean gobernados por el amor. Right. I want them to learn how to make adjustments in their behavior. And Yo how quiero que it. aprendan en cómo uh, ajustar su su comportamiento. To protect our connection. Para proteger la conexión. Not out of fear of punishment. Can you let them know that? Y no del temor del castigo. Thank you. Right. So they can learn how to or or uh, so they can learn how to protect this relationship Entonces, versus just surviving. Esta en vez de right. If you if you're if our kids or our family our spouses si nuestros hijos o familia o esposo is making decisions based on um, whether or not they're going to be punished están tomando decisiones basado en si van a ser castigados then they're not really being obedient. Entonces, de verdad, no están, no, no son obedientes. They're just preserving or surviving within the relationship. Están simplemente uh, sobreviviendo en una relación. Right? When you're when you're when you're driven by fear of punishment. Cuando tú eres manejado por el temor del castigo. You're surviving and protecting. Estás simplemente sobreviviendo y protegiendo. And you're not connecting. Y no estás conectando. Right? Because without choice, Porque sin las elecciones, there is no freedom. No hay libertad. And when there's no freedom, there's no love. Y donde no hay libertad, no hay amor. So my kids can be very obedient. Mis hijos pueden ser muy obedientes. They do exactly what I say when I want them to. Pueden say. hacer exactamente lo que hago cuando they les digo que hagan. They do everything haga. right. Y hacen todo bien. And they're the perfect child. Y es el hijo perfecto. But if it's out of fear of how I'm going to blow up and explode Pero and just lose it all. Si se trata del temor de que me voy a explotar. That's not love. Eso no es amor. That's survival. Eso es simplemente and that child will always be looking at all times, how do I get away from this relationship? Because ese, ese survival is tiring. Porque sobrevivir es, se cansa. Mentally, emotionally, Menta, physically. Mente, emocional, físico. And it doesn't produce fruit. Y no produce fruto. It only produces fear. Simplemente produce el temor. Amen.